Hello YouTubers, YYC Busy Mom here. And of course, I'm recording mid-stroke here. Um, I'm going to show you something here. I am going to try and make French onion soup. Now, French onion soup usually has like your sherries and stuff like that. Well, not in this house. Alcohol gets drunk before it even gets into any cooking, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just joking. Or am I? No, really. Um, in this case, we have a half a, uh, what, a pint smaller than a quart? I can never remember. The smaller jar is half full of the homemade teriyaki sauce that I had made. Also, I have put about half cup, well, do it to your taste, half cup of sugar, about a quarter, one eighth of a cup of uh, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, salt, and pepper. Now, it looks pretty thick, and it is pretty thick. However, if you want to add some water, you wait till after, because your onions over here, for instance, are going to... These is five onions, and I'm caramelizing these. I... Oh, we got some cooking happening here. I just wanted to get them so they were translucent. Uh, just a little bit longer, I think. I don't really need it that dark, because I have all these... Um, what do you call it? The colors that are already dark in the sauce, in the teriyaki sauce, which is, an, which is an amazing teriyaki sauce. If you haven't seen my video, go take a look at it. I often, <coughs> pardon me, I often reference that video myself to when I remake it. Okay. Now, since this is going to be cooking for a few hours, it's only uh, 152 here in the afternoon. Oops, let me take... Turn off the burner first, take out this whisk that I had in there to mix the sugar up. You want to get the sugar so it's dissolved. And here we're just going to dump this in here. I'm pouring ever so gently so I'm not spilling it while holding the camera. Okay. Every last little onion out of there. Mmm, that'd be nice caramelization sauce there. Hmm. Ideas, ideas. The burner's still hot. Here we come over here. And we stir it up. Already it looks good enough to eat. I mean, oh, I fried the bacon, I fried the onions up in bacon grease. Um, bacon grease makes everything oh so yummy. Now I'm not worried about this being not enough liquid. Because near the end, I can add more liquid. I mean, to make it to my consistency. The way I like it, but I like lots of onions. So we're just going to push these down here. And it's got a couple hours, like four to six hours, depending on what time we eat. Um, before this can even be, before you're even wanting to serve it. And then, um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to put my bread on there, then my cheese, or cheesy bread on the side. Um, this is very much, as I said before, what do you got in the cupboard? Oh, one more thing. I forgot. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know how you can buy your beef bouillon? Well, I've had these instant noodles that the kids eat, and at one point somebody ate uh, a packet of, one or two packets of instant noodles, beef instant noodles, and didn't use the powder. So, I put it in here. Why waste it, right? Why not use it for something that's going to give it a little more beefy flavor. But I'm telling you, with the flavor that's going on here, oh, this video. oh my god. I'm serious, folks. Oh, I almost sounded like the Mrs. Wolfie there. Haha. <laughs> Love her channel. Anyways, this, give it a try. And, uh, I can't wait to eat it, actually. I'm a big, big, big fan of onion soup. And I've always been critical of where I go for my onion soups. And so I had a favorite restaurant, and then they changed the recipe. They put some sort of orange cheese in it and just, I don't know, changed the flavor altogether. Anywho, enough of my rambling. I'm going to put it on high, and we're going to let it sit with a lid on it. I gotta get the lid out, of course. I forgot it. And, um, let it get all happy, happy.
and if flavor needs to be changed, go ahead. Make it the way you want it. The, everybody's flavor and taste buds are different. Some like it sweeter, some like it savorier. Some like it spicy, some like it not. We have a lot of restrictions in our household. Not too sweet, not spicy, no peppers, no this, that, the other thing. So we make it according to the way we want to make it. And in this case, all it is, once again, is uh, the homemade teriyaki sauce, uh, a couple of beef bouillon packets, in this case it was from the, the noodles, some sugar, salt and pepper, and garlic, and, in this case, uh, five onions. And if I end up with too much, might just freeze it or can it. We'll see. Well, enjoy!